What's going on people? Welcome back to the Ogano Art Family and welcome back to another Ogano Talk segment. And today, as the title says, we're going to be talking about parents that don't support your dream or ambitions or um, or goals or anything of that matter. So I'm going to be sharing, you know, personal experiences, etc. So when, so when you get cases of uh, parents that aren't supportive of your dream, it, it gets to the extreme of a parent disowning their own child because he decided to go his own way, his own path. And in some cases, people hold their parents to such a high standard or such a high regard that, you know, their opinions, their parents' opinion can affect the uh, the outlook of the person that wants to, you know, achieve whatever he wants to do. So it's kind of... Uh, a controlling a subconscious control of the child that is being governed by the parent but it's really in, it's entirely related to you know how close you are with your parents or how close you aren't with your parents you know i mean if you won't really hold parents to such a high regard if you don't really know them as people however if you know you have parents that are like you know close friends then but yet they don't really support your goal then that can also be an issue for that person and sometimes it's good to understand the reasons why you know parents or you know your family members cousins or so forth won't don't really support you you know it could be for um you know probably you know financial reasons that's like a that's like the biggest thing people tend to follow where the money the where the most money goes it could be you know not wanting to see their child hurt in some way but little do they know that you know a passionate person really wants to go at it and if he's not doing what he he is he or she is passionate about then you know there may be, you know, sadness and that person would be hurt if that person isn't following his his goal or calling out whatever, his dream or so. And, you know, and sometimes you get the case of where, you know, parents or, you know, families just, they just didn't like you from the day you were born, you know, and they just don't want to see you successful, you know. It can get to these extremes. So your passion should be your utmost priority because I've seen, you'll see a, you'll see a lot of interviews about people, oh, in, in their deathbeds, you know, regretting what they could have done. They ask the what if, what if I followed this passion? What if I did this? You know, that that's like the most, uh, that's the most popular thing you usually here within someone's you know near death you know experience and you know if that's the most popular thing heard you know passion should be the first priority you know you should be willing to you know have the warrior mindset you know die for the dream you know it's like you know living a long boring life compared to living a short and happy life it's it's worth the risk and now you're going to get uh, distractions everywhere from, you know, friends or family. So sometimes you may need to, you know, take a break or cut certain people off. But, you know, you know, certain family members you really can't really cut off sometimes. And you may just need to take a break. But sometimes, you know, that's not even the case at all. You can't do the break or the cutting, you know. So... I find that you can't really please everybody in life, you know, so you gotta, you know, please yourself, you know, follow what your, you know, heart's desires is. And it would be also important to get inspired by, you know, other people's life experiences. Like, there are certain artists, you know, regarding, you know, acting, music, or um, anything else, any dream that may have seemed risky at the time. You'll see that, you know, they had people doubting 
them when they were first starting out you know so we'll, we'll take for example you know um yeah okay we'll take for okay there was a the Guntama, Guntama's creator I can't really, really remember his name at the moment but the Guntama's creator had his father laughing at him when he when he said that he wanted to you know go into you know manga you know and what else you know there's um Kishimoto the, the Naruto Naruto's creator who, who he had uh people doubting him when he was you know first starting out you know he had he um and I know um Kishimoto has like you know some interviews of um I think he says something about you know his family or so didn't really support what he wanted to do but you know look at where he is now because he decided to you know just continue on that path and you know there's definitely a loads more people loads more people like um you could you could probably look look them up on YouTube you know and I'm sure there are some YouTubers, popular YouTubers that, you know, have their own uh, where was I before I was famous type of deal or type of storytelling that you could look at, you know. So this is a very common theme in the road to, you know, success. You know, it's like, you know, it's like um, the hero's journey in real life, you know. And when it when you're first starting out, I don't think it's really necessary to have other people support. That's something that may you know gradually come as you know the proof works for you, you know. So like I'll say to get in, get inspired by other people's other people's stories, you know, because each each and every one of us has a story to tell, you know, and I'm sure someone else has gone through it gone through the, uh, you know, gone through not having people, not gone through not having the support from, you know, family or friends or so, you know, look up other people's stories about that, you know, and, you know, just get inspired by it. So I'm, I'm just going to share my own personal experience. So my family doesn't get what I'm doing at all whatsoever. And they think that, uh, you know, I'm, you know, pretty, pretty much crazy, pretty much crazy for spending loads of time just sitting on the desk and just drawing away. They see that as, you know, mentally insane, but, you know, it, it's not, um, but not, but not all the way mentally insane, but they do see me a little bit as mentally insane and they don't really support what I'm doing much. Hmm, I actually let me take that back. Not exactly support, but I feel like yeah, they just don't really care about the things that I'm doing. You know, like really just don't care, you know? So it's not that they're supportive or they're not supportive, it's just like whatever. You know, and that's definitely understandable because I feel that, you know, there's a, there's a generation gap, you know, my, uh, parent or family, family, they're like near their mid, their mid fifties or forties or so. They're, they're like right there in terms of age and, you know, they've never really experienced what I'm doing at the moment. This is like a uh, whole new world to them, you know, and, uh, I mean, they have experienced some, you know, artsy things from where they come from, like, for example, music, but I think other than that, it's non-existent, it's non-existent in their generation, so, yeah, there's a generation gap, and that generation gap can mean a lot as to how much they will, you know, understand what you're doing. And one other thing to note is that nobody can predict the future for certain. And, you know, the people who don't support you may paint a gloomy picture about the future. But, you know, they, they're not psychics. They can't predict the future. You know, the future has endless possibilities of what can happen. 
and you yourself don't know what can happen in the future you know i see that you know humans tend to focus on you know more so the negative side of things even though things are pretty much balanced they tend to fo put their focus pretty much on just the negative side of what can happen and to go back to the uh the generation gap there is a generation gap when you're dealing with you know people who are older than you you know so like say say for example you know the, the new generation in the future you know we may think that you know they're crazy you know I'll, I'll try i'll try to be open to the new generation i'll try to be you know hip and with the times and everything but <laughs> but you know we, we we may have that that gap you know and then that that gap that we won't understand the future generation but i don't know how that's going to be you know and you know just 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 leaving words leaving words um see see your passion as don't see your passion as work but see your passion as a form of therapy just see it as a form of therapy for your own mental and emotional growth and yeah that's that's pretty much my my take on this entire uh you know parents not supporting you type of deal so you know if you like the content leave a like leave a comment i'd like to hear your ideas on this and um you know subscribe and that'll be it later guys